Introduction to Neural Networks with Java, Class 9, Part 3. Welcome to Part 3. In this part, we're going to learn about incremental pruning. Incremental pruning is good when you have no idea how many neurons you want to have in the hidden layers. Incremental pruning will take your training data and gradually construct a neural network with an appropriate number of neurons for that training data. It will do this by adding neurons and retraining until it, re until it has a sufficient number of neurons to get the error rate below what you want it to be, if you can find an acceptable error rate. We will begin by looking at the structure of how we implement incremental pruning. See the top half of the incremental pruning algorithm's flowchart. We start with one neuron in the hidden layer. We construct a neural network with n hidden neurons, which is initially one. This will increase. We perform a training cycle. This consists of however many iterations we want or whatever acceptable error rate we want. We check to see if we are below the acceptable error rate. If we are, then we're successful. We're done. If we have not, then we check to see if we have completed 1,000 training cycles. 1,000 training cycles is just what we've arbitrarily chosen is how far we want to train. Because we're going to go through a bunch of hidden layer numbers, we don't want to just train until we reach the acceptable error rate because we very well may not reach it because we may be training a neural network that simply has too few of neurons. The flowchart continues onward with the top diamond where we are saying are we below the acceptable error rate. Now have we completed 1000 cycles? Well, if we have not if we have, then we increment n by 1. So we are now going to look at a additional layer in the hidden layer. We check n to some arbitrary number like 20. For complex neural networks, we may need this to be very well larger than 20 and we continue onward. If um, we have not reached 20 neurons, then we simply continue back up. That's the no line that snakes down to the bottom and up through the right side of the screen. And if we have reached the 20 neurons, then we have reached a failure situation. We were simply not able to achieve the error level desired with any layer. Now let's look at how a single increment of the incremental pruning algorithm is implemented. First we create a local variable called doit. If doit gets set to true, then that means that we have found a better neural network solution by increasing the hidden, layer, the hidden neuron count. Here we look at the mark error rate. The mark error rate is the last error rate that we encountered when we switched something. So if it's zero, that means that we have not yet sampled the error rate. So if, it's, if it is zero, then we set it to the current error and we count the number of iterations since we last marked the error rate because we're going to loop up to 10,000 iterations per time that we increment the hidden neuron count. If the error rate is not zero, then we um, set the uh, sense mark to one higher. We do the sense mark plus plus as you see near the bottom of the screen. If the number of iterations that we've called since the mark has been 10,000 or higher, then we need to set the we need to sample the error rate. We look at the error rate and we compare it. If it's less than 1%, then we're going to set do it to true because we found a, a acceptable neural network. If it if we continue through, then we set the error rate equal to the current error and we reset the mark rate to zero because we have not, we've just sampled the error rate so we don't need to do this again for 10,000 iterations. If the error is less than the minimum error rate that we're looking for, then we found a good solution and we mark this, we can mark done to true because we are basically done iterating through the incremental algorithm. If the doit variable has been set to true, then that means it's time to create a new neural network. We set the training cycles to zero. We are starting over because we're creating a new neural network. 
we increase the hidden count by one, and we create a new neural network. We've seen numerous examples of how to create this neural network. We're simply creating a uh, feedforward network structure, as you see, just before the red type. And then we create the three layers and add those layers to the neural network. Then we need to create a new backpropagation structure because this is what trains the neural network. We've created a new neural network, so we basically need to restart the training process. We do this by creating a backpropagation class, and we pass in what we want it to train with, as well as the rate and momentum. This is typical for backpropagation. These are the the, what you pass to the algorithm. Now we look at an example of how all this comes together. Here you see the XOR problem, and it's going to be solved using incremental pruning. We're going to figure out a number of hidden layers to actually put into this. Here we see the expected out and the inputs that are going to be selected for the XOR problem. We have the expected outs, and we're going to train with those expected outs. We click Train and Prune. Notice it's trying one neuron then two, and it found an, a solution that it liked with two neurons. The error rate is about 5%, which is acceptable. We run it, and we see the output. There's a considerable difference between the two middle rows, which correspond to the true values for XOR, and the two outer rows. The two inner rows are close to 1. The two outer rows are close to 0. This is consistent with the XOR truth table that we would expect. So you can see that we incrementally tried neurons. We only made it to two neurons because two neurons trained for the error level that we said was acceptable. This concludes part three. In class session 10, you're going to learn about predictive neural networks. You'll see how a neural network can be used to take a series of temporal data and predict the future with it or at least attempt to predict the future. We hope you will continue with class 10. Thank you. This course is based on our Introduction to Neural Network Programming books for Java and also Introduction to Neural Networks for C Sharp. Available in both paperback and ebook format.